These didn't come with any sort of flush fitting from the factory, which means we have to add one. Now the kits aren't expensive and they aren't difficult to install. Basically in your kit, you're gonna get a short section of hose with a garden hose adapter on one end and this little brass fitting with a hose clamp. And there's a screw that we can remove from the exhaust, place this brass fitting into with our hose, obviously, and then we have a ready to go flush fitting either for flushing out salt water or flushing antifreeze through to get rid of any fresh water or salt water. Looking at our engine bay, we can see our 701 cc engine. Now this engine is going to be in a lot of different machines, not just Wave Runner 3. So it's worth checking if you've got a Superjet, Wave Raider, Wave Blaster, any of the various Yamahas that may have used the 701. If you need a flush fitting installed, start looking here. So if we come down into the engine bay, right towards the back cylinder, over on the exhaust. See that flat screw right there? We're going to remove that, and that's where our little brass fitting goes. Let me back out just enough where I can get a screwdriver in on that. Sun is so bright right now, I'm struggling to see in here. There we go. Okay, just drop that right down into the hull. You don't need it anymore anyways. We are fitting there. Now in preparing this fitting to install, I've got some of this blue Teflon paste. You could use any sort of Teflon paste, a thread sealer, even some like blue Loctite or something would be okay on this, or Teflon tape too, I suppose. I like to use some form of liquid Teflon stuff because that way it can't uh, break free and clog stuff up later down the road. Okay, so I'm just going to reach down in here. All you're going to see is my hand. Just start that in by hand. Okay, we are fitting down in there. Start it in. Snug that in reasonably good. So with that fitting installed, now we're gonna install our hose and our hose clamp onto that fitting. Here we have our completed install of a flush fitting on this 701 Yamaha. Got our brass fitting down there with the hose on, the clamp tight. I've zip tied it to the uh, lifting strap here on the exhaust bracket so that this hose doesn't go anywhere and it's there. We'll snug that down so that it doesn't leak water on us. But now we have a means of flushing this engine out, whether we ride it in salt water or if we need to winterize it, we're all set. That's everything you need to know. Basically, removal of that little plug, installation of a fitting hose, you're good to go whether salt water or flushing out with antifreeze. Everything you need to try this on your Yamaha is either linked in the description below or somewhere on the screen as a YouTube annotation. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.